Welcome to the October 2019 episode of Core Safety TV, brought to you directly from the National Mining Association. This month, we're going to talk about noise and the damage that it can cause to your hearing if you don't take the proper safety steps. Did you know that nearly one out of four mining workers experience job-related hearing loss? This is from a new study just released by NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. 1.9 million workers across all industries had their hearing tested between 2006 and 2015. Now this included 9,389 mining workers. 24% of the miners had job-related hearing loss. That's the highest prevalence of any industry. Let's break that down to see which subsectors experience the most problems with hearing loss. 36% of those miners were working in construction, sand, and gravel mining. 31% were in the uranium, radium, vanadium ore and 28% worked in bituminous coal and lignite surface mining. So, what can you do as a miner to protect your hearing loss at work? Watch this quick Miner's Minute. First, be sure that you're wearing hearing protection devices, or HPDs. These might be earplugs, earmuffs, or headphones, for example. There are many companies that manufacture these HPDs that are rated specifically for decibel levels in various mining operations. HPDs are usually the first worker protection equipment that mining companies provide, but they won't work if you use them wrong. Ask your manager if they provide HPDs and if they have training on how to use them properly. Make sure they fit snugly and aren't blocked by your glasses or your hair. Don't depend only on the stated noise reduction rating, the NRR, if you're working around loud situations though, because those ratings sometimes aren't 100% accurate. Finally, be aware that your hearing loss can creep up on you over time. Just because you think that you're able to hear well enough now doesn't mean the loss won't increase, so protect your hearing. Now, here's a manager's minute that pertains to hearing loss and some ideas for protecting your workforce. First, understand that hazardous noise is generally considered to be anything equal to or greater than 85 decibels, especially when a worker is continually exposed to it for long periods of time. Look at this example of coal mining equipment and noise exposure by decibels in various locations. Each of these has been reported to often exceed the hazardous level of 85 decibels. What can you do as a manager? Well, make sure that your workers are trained on how to properly use hearing protection devices and remind them to do so daily. Try to ensure that workers are rotated out of hazardous noise areas during their shifts or when they're on breaks. Remove, replace, or control loud equipment whenever possible. Conduct noise measurements and audiometric screening of workers on a regular basis. An effective safety and health management system must include a noise management plan. You can learn about this and other occupational health hazards in Core Safety's module number 13. Check it out.
Finally today, remember that mining is an occupation that's just inherently loud most of the time. The sound levels around you can be dangerous for a variety of reasons, and you might not even notice it. Here's what may be causing it, though. Things like blasting, conveyors, crushing, drilling, machinery, dump trucks, earth-moving equipment, road and rail activities, processing plants. The key questions to ask, though, are number one, if you're a miner, are you taking steps to protect your hearing every day? And number two, if you're a manager, are you looking for ways to reduce hazardous noise levels while also educating workers about hearing protection devices? Everybody needs to keep this in mind when you show up to work each and every day. Okay, that's it for this month. I'll see you here again in November. In the meantime, please be sure to follow us on social media anytime you're online. For Core Safety and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. Be safe out there, and thanks for watching. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.